All right. This question comes from Brett. Brett says, hey, guys, love the show. I think you guys break down the game in a unique and fair way. Now for the mailbag question. I'm putting you in the fans shoes. You've talked about best game day atmosphere, but let's get into the details. If you could pick one game to go to and create the perfect game day experience, what would it be? Who are you tailgating with? What's on the menu? What's the weather? Where are you sitting? Et cetera. So I listen, I, I don't think you need to go down and like answer all those questions. So you just can can you set the scene? I do do you want me to jump out with it first? Yes. Yeah. Okay. So it's about mid-October. It is starting to get a slight crisp, and you're starting to get a little bit of a sense of who's good and who's not. You arrive at the stadium, and there's a there's a little bit of a buzz in the air because while both these programs are top tier programs, they don't play all the time. And sometimes when you get a visit from one of those programs that you don't get to see all the time, every everyone just gets a little bit more pep in their step. It's Baton Rouge. LSU is hosting Georgia. I'm walking around the stadium. You know, you, you can kind of start almost near campus and kind of work your way to get a little bit closer and a little bit closer. Who am I tailgating with? Everybody. <laughs> I am hitting as many different tailgate spots as possible. But in particular, I forgot which side of the stadium it's on, but there's a double-decker bus that's always parked, and it's parked under a really big tree with almost like a treehouse-type setup. And there's a big RV, and there's all there's like huge grill, Always, you know, some kind of stew or gumbo or something that's going. And I just work my way around the grill and around the table, uh, get a cold one, go up to the top shelf, uh, the, the top level of the double decker bus where you can look out and you can see all the different tailgates. I come inside and I get into the stadium. Now, if it was super hot outside, I might actually take uh, one of them media seats. But like I said, mid to late October, I want to be with the people. I don't mind if you want to tell me that you're one of those end zone people because you almost like the coaches cam, right? I mean, you, sometimes they're going away from you. Sometimes they're coming towards you. And in particular at LSU, you've got all those students in one behind one end zone. It would be awesome to be there. But I'll, I'll take 50-yard line about two-thirds of the way up, lower level, and I'm sitting with you guys. Oh, what time? Uh, what time is kickoff? Uh, two thirty Central. Hmm. So three thirty PM Eastern Time. That like the traditional midday. You you get you sort of get your tailgate. You you want to be tailgating by about what nine ten AM, right? But you're still going to be able to get back to your hotel at a decent time to get a a really late dinner or like stop and grab you know duck out of traffic go into a restaurant, go get dinner, and then once everything's cleared up a little bit, then head on back. So that's what I got. It would be Tiger Stadium, Death Valley, LSU hosting Georgia, hanging out with you guys, tailgating all over the place, but in particular by the double-decker bus. Mine was kind of similar, actually. Um, I've, I've, I have largely done that. I would change a couple things. One, I think I want more, like because now that, like, individual networks own an entire league. I don't know if you saw the ESPN announced about the schedule thing, but they're going to have like different start times all day. So I, mm -hmm. I think like a nice, like four forty five central time start to where it's still sunny outside. Like you, you get to see the sunset over, over, over the river there it, when, when you're in tiger stadium, um, maybe a little bit of gumbo, a little pot, like, like cold enough for gumbo, you know, like, like there's certain times of year. I just don't want to eat gumbo. Um, I said etouffee yesterday because we had a crawfish boil on Saturday, and it was just it was perfect. But uh, maybe some gumbo or some pasta laya. I want to play in Florida so that like a I can root against Florida, and b I can eat a little bit of gator. Yeah, and those games are usually pretty pretty nuts. But like a four forty five kick, it, it's a little cooler. You know, I, I don't have to like make the decision like do I bring the jacket or not. I can wear the jacket, and I'm not holding it with me for for half the ball game. The restaurants are still open afterwards. And uh, you know, take the kids to see Mike the Tiger. That's cool. That's, that's oh small. yeah, that's right. Got got to stop in and see the did, Tiger. Did it have to be one we've not done before? 
Yeah, I mean, if so yeah. then I uh, I've never done Penn State. I think that'd be really pretty dope, actually. Um, is this the LSU pod? Well, we're all going to LSU. <laughs> well, I look. I, it I'll, is. Uh, I mean, it is incredible. Maggie Stanley has a great setup, so it's kind of like like I just I, it's bankable. Um, or Austin. I've never done Austin. I've done Austin. We did is Austin or the like two, UT uh, two City LSU UT game. LSU. Yeah. yeah, that was hot. So the only hot. complaint that was hot. That's why I do like the October call. I would say Tallahassee. I haven't got to tailgate many places whatsoever, so I would love to do it in Tallahassee. Did not love the neutral where I saw Bud in Orlando for LSU, Florida State. Didn't love that atmosphere. But my ideal kickoff time in October would be 7 p.m. That not prime time. I think ESPN, they give the 7 o'clock kickoff time, so it's not super late. But it would start off 9 a.m., with a tea time at Seminole Legacy Golf Club yeah, with the boys. Maybe two groups, you know, have a little action. I mean, if you really want to get wild, you could have a little Ryder Cup style. You know, even maybe if it was playing Miami or Florida State, you could have a little competition going back and forth with some of the guys from those schools. Uh, You know, finish up around one and uh, grab some lunch. Maybe power up if you need to. Some of the older guys like myself maybe want a quick hour nap, shower, refresher. Then head over probably around 3.34. Get there, you know. I, you got to have cover. I do think that's crucial in Florida. Any time of the year, you got to have some sort of tent with a cover. Also, I do, I would love the the TV setups you see at different tailgates are sick. Yeah, I would love to have either where they have the big screen on the side of the trailer, the camper, you know, where it unfolds and there's huge multiple screens so you can watch some of the games throughout the day. Hanging food, I think I'd be typical. You know, some barbecue, some wings, some nachos, cold beers, maybe even some ranch water. That'd be my preference, my drink of choice. Um, yeah, so it'd be Tallahassee. If it was non-Florida State, I would say the Grove at Oxford. Like, if you go back and watch the game day, I haven't done it since I was in college. I dated a girl that went to uh, Ole Miss, and I uh, went to one game there. But if it, like, go back and watch the college game day when Katy Perry was there. They did a great job documenting it. Like mm-hmm. it is just a sea of tents and they have chandeliers in the tents. You know, there's got to be something for the ladies too. If you bring them, they could have their spot. The guys have theirs, but one of those two would probably be uh tops of my list. RV lot is a great call out by the way, because it's fenced in. There's not a lot of in out traffic. Like, everybody gets there early. So you can just let the kids run. Just, yeah. You know, un, un, not, un, not totally unsupervised, but pretty much just let them run because nobody's driving in and out of the RV lot. Like once you're there, you're there. It's uh it's, it's self-contained. Uh, first of all, at my age, the ideal Saturday is just being at home with multiple games on all day and watching them without having to do any work involved. That would be my ideal Saturday. But in the spirit of the question, I will say like the times of days you guys are choosing, I think the 11 a.m. Central kickoff is a little underrated for attending a game because especially when I was in Champaign, you would be out on Friday night, you and your boys hanging out. And then you would pretty much make your way from the bars to the tailgate in the morning. Maybe you'd grab like a little nap or something for a couple hours, you know, because like my friend's apartments were right down the street from the stadium. So you could sneak in there, get a little nap and then make your way out to the tailgate. Then you'd continue tailgating. You would go to the game and then the game's over by 2.30 and you can go home and either just pass out or you're home in time to watch all the other big games because you were an Illinois fan in the early 2000s of school and it wasn't like they were playing in a lot of big games. Um, for the question, there's a ton of places I haven't been that I would like to go and I won't, but I, I would love to be at Husky stadium for like a late night pac 12 after, you know, after dark kind of game, but where it's like sunset in Washington at the time in Seattle, out on the, out on the sound in a boat tailgating before the game and then make my way into the stadium as the sun setting, all that kind of stuff. That would be pretty credible. That was on my list too. Um, there, I will say Oklahoma is like, super underrated as far as like how how into like the, the the collegial spirit of the game their fans are like they're really welcoming like they're not they're not dicks about it like hey you know, like come on come on over our tailgate like when Florida State went out to play there in uh was it 08 or 09 lost by like 60 <laughs> Jimbo's like first first or second year um who's the really worst? really nice folks because I, I think that? most people like I had a buddy of mine that was uh this was probably 15 years ago his wife said I want to take them for our wedding anniversary to a football game. Where do I need to go? 
neutral. They were from New England. It was when I lived in Connecticut. And I gave them a list. And they ended up going to BAM LSU. And they went in with, like, no strings attached. And, like, they, st- I think they were rooting for Bama, but it was in Baton Rouge. But, like, they, like, loved both sides. Like, people were like, come on in, have a drink with us. You need something to eat? And then the other side, like, and then, like, for, they – Everyone seemed, but who's the who's the worst? I think most college tailgates are kind of like that. You know, yeah. like they're pretty I, friendly. I would say, whatever. They already hate me, Miami. Um, <laughs> I, I just like they, they just kind of yeah. With the and, and like polls. fist fights break out. Like it I is think it's so many of them like, like tailgates. So many of them didn't go to the school. You know, and right. It's just, it's hot, like like there's no grass to tailgate on. It's just all blacktop there around the stadium. Um, yeah, it, it's it's very fighty, you know. Yeah. Uh, oh, I had Wisconsin on the list. Definitely a place that like oh, seen yeah. on mm-hmm. TV to be mm-hmm. pretty incredible. Like, Tennessee's legit. Mm-hmm. Have you done the uh, Vol Navy? Go no, out but I, I don't want to. I've seen that. McAfee do it. Looks uh, looks pretty cool. Um, oh, as far as seats, like. I actually I was on the fifty in player seats in was it oh nine or ten that Julio like Bama couldn't score at all against LSU all day and then Julio houses the uh, the bubble screen for like eighty yards. Those were pretty cool seats that we that we had through a hookup, and yet it's not a great viewing experience to be like first row on the fifty. Like it's cool <laughs> selfie wise, it's great, but it's actually kind of hard to see what's going on in the game, especially depending on the stadium, like how low you are. If, if it's a stadium with like fairly low walls. You really can't see unless you're tall, like real tall. Yeah, that's why I want two thirds of the way up. Yeah, you know, like in- I want the press box. <laughs> there are stadiums where I'm so thankful for being in that press box. But it's I not even the just the amenities; it's just being able to see everything. I yeah. want the athletic director suite. <laughs> um, let's see, Max in the Cover Three tailgate. I, I cannot speak to this, but he said that uh, Texas Tech is hyper unwelcoming. Adding, if they lose, Texas Tech fans will key your car. <laughs> it doesn't surprise me. Just I feel like there's a there's a chip on or a tortilla on those shoulders a lot because of the way <laughs> like the rest of that league views Lubbock. Yeah, that's um I because the welcoming part and the collegial spirit, you know, that you're talking about with Oklahoma, that to me is the, you know, the question saying like what's the best college football experience? The college football experience is that collegial welcoming, like let's mm-hmm. all get together. This is this is so much bigger like this is a community event around a football game let's enjoy the community event together go in the game cheer for our team one of us is going to win one of us is going to lose but for right now you know let's enjoy each other's company let's not you know start fist fights and spit in each other's faces and key cars or you know whatever else might be happening out there and god that uh, that miami blacktop tailgate situation is angsty it's really angsty. And it's not exactly kid friendly either. I mean, they they have no. uh, the scenes with the stripper poles out in the parking lot. <laughs> like, well, see, now this is starting to sound better and better. I mean, <laughs> uh, wh- watch the videos and get back to me to see if those are the type of scenes that an adult, <laughs> not kid Tom, wants to see. <laughs> <laughs> Just 